Hello and welcome to this video on the story of Bonnie and Clyde, two of the most notorious criminals in American history. Their lives and crimes have fascinated people for decades, inspiring movies, songs, and books. But who are Bonnie and Clyde, and what led them to become outlaws? Let's find out. Early Life and Criminal Beginnings Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow both grew up in poverty-stricken families in Texas. Bonnie was born on October 1, 1910, in Rowena, Texas, and was the second of three children. Her father, Charles Parker, was a bricklayer who died when Bonnie was four years old. Her mother, Emma Kraus, moved the family to Dallas, Texas, where Bonnie attended school until the age of 16. Clyde Barrow was born on March 24, 1909, in Teleco, Texas, and was the fifth of seven children. His father, Henry Barrow, was a farmer who moved the family to Dallas, Texas, when Clyde was a child. Clyde dropped out of school after the fifth grade and began working odd jobs to help support his family. Both Bonnie and Clyde turned to a life of crime at an early age. Clyde was first arrested at the age of 17 for stealing a car and was sent to prison for two years. During his time in prison, he learned how to be a better criminal and met other inmates who would become his future partners in crime. Bonnie also had a criminal record for theft and worked as a waitress and a sales clerk before meeting Clyde in 1930. At the age of 16, Bonnie had married a man named Roy Thornton, but the marriage fell apart when Thornton was sent to prison for murder. When Bonnie and Clyde met, they quickly became partners in crime and began a crime spree that included robberies, burglaries, and murders across multiple states in the South and Midwest. The couple became notorious for their daring escapes from the police and their willingness to use violence to accomplish their goals. Life of Crime Bonnie and Clyde's life of crime began in 1930 when they met in Texas. At the time, Bonnie was 19 years old and Clyde was 21 years old. They quickly became romantically involved and began a crime spree that would span several states and last for over two years. The couple's first major crime was a robbery of a gas station in Texas in 1932. They then progressed to robbing banks and small businesses across Texas, Oklahoma, and Missouri. They also stole cars and committed burglaries to fund their criminal activities. Bonnie and Clyde's criminal exploits attracted the attention of the media, who reported on their daring escapes from law enforcement. The media's coverage of Bonnie and Clyde turned them into infamous outlaws and made them household names. The couple's life of crime was not without its dangers. They were involved in several shootouts with law enforcement, resulting in the deaths of multiple police officers. They were also responsible for the deaths of several innocent people during their criminal activities. Despite the danger, Bonnie and Clyde continued to evade law enforcement for over two years. They relied on their knowledge of the countryside and their ability to change their appearance to avoid capture. Pursuit and Capture after several years of evading law enforcement and committing numerous crimes, Bonnie and Clyde had become one of the most wanted criminals in the country. The authorities pursued them relentlessly, and the couple was involved in multiple shootouts with law enforcement. One of the most notable shootouts occurred in Joplin, Missouri, in 1933. Bonnie and Clyde were staying in a rented apartment with several other members of their gang when the police discovered their location. A shootout ensued, and Bonnie and Clyde managed to escape, but two police officers were killed and several others were injured. Despite the danger, Bonnie and Clyde continued their crime spree, and the authorities continued to pursue them. On May 23, 1934, law enforcement officers set up an ambush along a rural road in Louisiana, where they believed Bonnie and Clyde would be passing through. When the couple's car approached, the officers opened fire, killing Bonnie and Clyde instantly. The ambush and subsequent deaths of Bonnie and Clyde were a major news event and made headlines across the country. The couple's bodies were put on public display, and thousands of people came to view them. Many people saw Bonnie and Clyde as folk heroes, while others celebrated their deaths as the end of a dangerous criminal spree. The pursuit and capture of Bonnie and Clyde were a significant moment in the history of law enforcement in the United States. The authorities showed that they were capable of tracking down and capturing even the most dangerous criminals, and the incident helped to establish the Federal Bureau of Investigation FBI, as a premier law enforcement agency in the country. Legacy Bonnie and Clyde's legacy has been the subject of much debate and fascination in popular culture. They have been depicted in numerous books, movies, and songs, 
with many people romanticizing their lives and crimes as a symbol of rebellion against authority. The couple's story has been portrayed in movies such as Bonnie and Clyde, 1967, and The Highwayman, 2019, which have helped to cement their place in popular culture. They have also been the subject of numerous songs, including The Ballad of Bonnie and Clyde by Georgie Fame and Bonnie and Clyde by Serge Gainsbourg and Bridget Bardot. Despite their cultural impact, it is important to remember that Bonnie and Clyde were violent criminals who were responsible for the deaths of innocent people. Their actions had a devastating impact on the families of their victims, and their legacy is a complicated one. In recent years, there has been a renewed interest in examining Bonnie and Clyde's story from a more critical perspective. Some scholars have questioned the romanticized image of the couple and have argued that they should be remembered for the harm they caused, rather than as symbols of rebellion. Ultimately, Bonnie and Clyde's legacy is a complex and contested one. While they continue to be a source of fascination and inspiration for some, it is important to remember the impact that their crimes had on the lives of others.